Hello and welcome back. Today we're talking about savings plans. Savings plans are like reserved instances conceptually, but they're more flexible. And they're kind of easier to grasp as well. And this is because in a savings plans, you commit to a certain dollar per hour spend, which will be charged regardless of where the usage has occurred. And the way this uh, works out is that products have a discounted savings plan rate, which depends on your selected option. So let's have a quick look at this discount rate. So if you go to compute savings plans or in general savings plans, and we're looking specifically at compute savings plans, you'll see that here you can select some options, which we'll talk about later. And then you'll be given a list with an, um, a savings plans rate over here and you have an on-demand rate. So you can see, for instance, for an I2X large right now, an on-demand you'd be paying uh, 85 cents uh, per hour. With a savings plans rate, you'd be paying 40, uh, 43 cents per hour, which is a 49% discount. And so what happens is you commit to a certain dollar per hour spend. So let's say you say you'll be spending $2 per hour for the next year. Well, whenever you launch an I2X large, and if you're two dollars per hour isn't used up by other things you have launched, let's say you have nothing launched yet, um, then you will be charged this rate until your two dollars per hour is used. So let's say you launch 10 of them, you'll be charged this rate for the first few. And then when your two dollars per hour is used, you'll be charged the on demand rate for the rest. And if you don't launch anything, you'll still be paying your two dollars per hour. So that's the compromise. So let's have a look back here. Um, there's an example of that. And you pay that rate until you used up your committed dollars per hour in that hour. So just what we spoke about just now. And for any excess usage in that hour, you pay the on-demand rate. Again, we just covered that as well. Um, so here are some saving plans options. Let's look at them in a bit more detail. Um, the savings plans options are type. You can choose between compute, EC2 instance savings plan, or SageMaker. Uh, term, tenancy, and upfront payment. So the really tricky one for us is going to be the first one because these three we've already seen in reserved instances and they're going to be pretty much the same. So in terms of type, you get a better discount for EC2 instance type. And let's go through these three compute, uh, three <laughs> savings plans. The first one is compute savings plan. And here you can split your uh, hourly commitment across many things. So they're quite flexible. This compute savings plan is probably the most flexible. It's flexible across instance family, size, availability zone, region, operating system, tenancy, and even service. So you can uh, split those committed dollars per hour, whether it's two or 200 or uh, $20,000 per hour, you can split them between different services. And that's very, very flexible, especially for organizations which are, for example, switching or making the shift from uh, EC2 instance computing to Lambda computing, for example. So that's the compute savings plan. The EC2 savings plan uh, gives you a better discount, but it's less flexible. It's like the compute savings plan, but you're locked uh, to one instance family, one region, only the EC2 service. So you cannot change those things. And the SageMaker savings plan uh, is like the compute plan, but you are locked into the SageMaker service. So you can only use it for that. And in terms of the other options, um, you get a better discount for a three-year uh, term. Um, for tenants, you get a better discount for shared. For dedicated, we'll talk about that in an upcoming tutorial. And for upfront payment, of course, you get the best discount for uh, all upfront. The important and important takeaway, this has been many important takeaways, but one of the important takeaways for the exam is that a savings plan is more flexible than a reserved instance. And by the looks of it, possibly, this is not guaranteed, but possibly uh, savings plans will phase out reserved instances uh, in the long run because they perform a very similar function. They're easier to understand. Um, pricing is easier and they... Uh, are just more flexible. So uh, look out for that. Maybe reserved instances have a limited time left. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, enjoy the cloud.